Hello children did you know that leaves are like super chefs preparing yummy food for the plant well not exactly pizzas or burgers but something healthy and really important for the plant hmm do you want to know more about leaves well come along then let me take you on a leafy adventure into the world of leaves leaves are amazing parts of plants and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes when you go outdoors you will be able to see a wonderful variety of leaves they come in all shapes sizes and colors making it a beautiful sight indeed most leaves are green in color but children we can also see different colors of leaves like red yellow orange and pink leaves have a variety of shapes too some big and some small now kids just as we have different body parts in the same way plants have different parts too the part of the plant that lies below the ground in the soil is called the root system we cannot see the plant roots the part of the plant which is above the ground and which we can see with our eyes is called the shoot system the shoot system is made up of the stem the leaves flowers and fruits leaf is the important part of the plant that grows from the stem and it has many important functions about which we will learn a little later most leaves are green in color this is due to the presence of a special substance in the green leaves called chlorophyll so children if someone asks you why are leaves green in color you can say it is because of the chlorophyll present in the green leaves now let's learn about the different parts of a leaf a leaf has four main parts leaf blade or lamina main vein the side veins and tiny pores called stomata remember you cannot see stomata with your eyes you need a microscope to see the stomata now let's talk about the leaf blade the leaf blade or lamina is the flat green part you see on most leaves it's like the leaf's body then there are the veins These are a number of tiny channels in the form of lines that run all over the leaf. The main vein is the line running in the middle of the leaf. It's like the leaf's backbone. It runs down the center of the leaf blade giving it structure and support. We also have side veins. These are like the leaf's blood vessels. they branch out from the main vein helping to transport water and nutrients to different parts of the leaf now children the lower part of the leaf has many tiny pores called stomata they are tiny openings on the leaf surface and they are like the leaf's nose and mouth they let the leaf breathe and release water and oxygen now let's talk about the cool things leaves do leaves are like the superheroes of plants because they have some important functions to do number 1 green leaves prepare food for the whole plant they are also called the food factory of the plant So one of the main jobs of leaves is photosynthesis. That's a big word, but it means that leaves use sunlight 
to make food for the plant. In the presence of sunlight, they take in carbon dioxide and water to prepare their food and also release oxygen, which is good for us. So children remember the process by which green leaves use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into food is called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is done with the help of chlorophyll present in green leaves. Function number two. We now know that green leaves give out gas called oxygen during photosynthesis. Oxygen is the very air we breathe and is essential for all living beings. Function number three. Some leaves are so tasty that we eat them as food. Yes, that's right. Lettuce, spinach, basil, mint and coriander are some examples of leaves we enjoy eating as salads, smoothies and various dishes. They are not just delicious but also good for you. Function number four. Leaves also help the plants to breathe and carry out transpiration through the stomata. Transpiration is the process in which plants release water vapor into the air which cools down the plant and the environment. So leaves are like nature's food factories and air conditioners. They are essential for the plant's survival and for a planet too. Remember children, the next time you see a leaf, you will know all about its parts and how important it is for the plant and the world around us. Keep exploring and learning about the amazing world of nature. Don't forget to check out our detailed video on photosynthesis. If you haven't watched it yet, you will find the link in the description box. And before we finish, Please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. It's bye for now and see you next time.